Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Today, we're going to be upgrading Arctic Cougar and also looking at some things that you should consider when changing your case. Now, this system, Arctic Cougar, is a system I built uh, a while back for my mate Andrew. It originally had a Ryzen 3 3100 back in the day. Now, over time, you can see we've uh, done some upgrades for Andrew. We've uh, changed out the stock cooler from the uh, Rave Stealth to the Hyper 212 Black, just to uh, help with uh, getting some better boost clocks on the 3600 that he eventually upgraded to. And, as you see, he also upgraded his RAM. He wanted to go for the uh, RGB... Corsair Vengeance memory kit. It's a few 200 speed, 16 gigabyte. So, uh, pretty decent. He's uh, still rocking the Zafir RX 580 Nitro Plus. Still a great uh, graphics card for uh, 1080p high refresh gaming. He uh, is looking to upgrade that sometime soon, but obviously with the stock shortages at the moment, it is very difficult to actually get your hands on something at the moment. But he's uh, bought a couple of uh, nice little upgrades for the system, but uh, what we'll do, we'll uh, go through the whole process of getting this original system and put it into the new case along with the other upgrades and uh, just some things that you should bear in mind if you're looking to change your case as well. So with all that out of the way, let's, uh, let's get to it then. So we've uh, basically gutted the uh, system now and taken out everything that we need to transfer into the new case. We are going to just leave the power supply in here because uh, Andrew's going to put a, another system in here for his nephew or I think some, someone along those lines. So that can stay in there because he's got a new power supply for the new case. And uh, one of the things I'm going to point out first off when you are doing this is do not forget your IO shield. You will have to uh, take that out from the back so that you can transfer it into the new case. Could be especially uh, frustrating if you were, say, selling your old case, and then you'd just be stuck with a gaping hole in the back of your case. So, worth considering. So, now that we've taken everything out, we shall get started on preparing the new case for the motherboard and everything else to go in. So, We've got our new case here, it's the uh, Corsair 4000D Airflow. Now, you're probably noticing that we have already encountered a different uh, issue when it comes to swapping cases. We are now putting a micro ATX case into a full size ATX case, which it is compatible, it's not the end of the world, but there will be uh, a bit of a strange gap at the bottom. But knowing Andrew, he's probably going to uh, upgrade his platform uh, in a couple of years time, so at least he's got that uh, compatibility moving forward if he wants to go for a full-size ATX system. So let's start getting this uh, case ready for installation. So we basically got our case ready for uh, putting all of our components in. Now uh, we're going to start off with getting these fans installed. Now, you may have noticed we have white fans and black fans. Now, it's um, not to the end of the world, but one thing I'll do is uh, use three of these up in the front for intake. And then, I think for this system, we're probably better off going for one top exhaust and then one in the rear. If we had that one top there, it could cause some issues with uh, dust buildup and uh, taking the fresh air from the front and exhausting it for there before it's even reached the components. So we'll just stick with two exhausts so we've still got positive pressure in the system. And uh, one of the other things we are going to have to make sure is we're going to have to install our standoffs in a micro ATX uh, layout. As I believe we've already got standoffs installed for ATX. So uh, we'll have to get those changed over and uh, of course can't forget about our uh, IO shields going in the top. So uh, yeah, let's get to it.
bulk of there have been installed now. We've got our motherboard in. I thought this gap was going to be a bit more irritating, but it doesn't actually look too bad, I reckon, for now. Obviously, a full-size ATX board would have been better. I'm sure it'll be fine, but uh, looking good. We've got our three fans in the front for intake, and then we've got two exhausts, and uh, it's looking really good at the moment. So uh, next, we're going to have to uh, start getting all the uh, connectors uh, plugged in. I'll get the, uh, the smaller, more finicky ones done first before we move on to our power supply. Another thing we need to know is what connectors we have available on the board. This motherboard is the B450 Mortar Max, which unfortunately doesn't have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 connector on the board. So Andrew's not gonna be able to use the USB-C on the front, but that's fine. He's still got a USB-C port on the rear of the motherboard he can use, but when he changes his platform out later down the line, he should definitely be able to use that if he wants to. Everything else is looking pretty straightforward, so uh, let's carry on. bulk of the uh, main connectors all plugged in now. Looks a bit of a nightmare for cable management at the moment though, but uh, we now have to connect up our RGB components from the uh, LL series fans. Now this is my least favourite part when it comes to Corsair fans because we've got this Lightning Note Pro we need to connect up and then we also need this RGB hub for the fans. And I guess uh, it gets a bit messy so uh, Let's get to it. Right, I've had to tidy it up behind you just to make it a bit easier while I'm uh, working around the back here. Before I do anything else, I'll have to uh, get the power supply installed. So we've gone for a CX750F from Corsair with a 8 plus bronze certification. It's fully modular, so we only need to use the cables that we need to use. And it's got an RGB fan, but that is going to be facing down, so never mind. Yeah, let's get this installed. That's the, uh, the build complete. Happy with how it uh, turned out. Moment of truth then. And here we go. That's a lot of RGB. So uh, what do we say we uh, end this video with a nice bit of uh, B-roll of Arctic Cougar Reborn. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then uh, please feel free to like and subscribe for more on the way soon. And I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.